Hi, this is Dima from Tipco Jasper Soft Support. Today, I'd like to show you how to set up and work with remote Git repository in JasperSoft ETL Studio and Talent Admin Center. I'm using Jasper ETL version 7.1 and my personal GitHub repository, but this should work with another version of Jasper ETL as well as Bitbucket or any other remote or local uh, Git repository. Okay, so we're going to start by creating the project in Talent Admin Center. Go to Business Intelligent, source that git. Pull in our GitHub URL and do GitHub login password. Okay, second step is to grant write permissions to our user. So go to project authorizations and just select this read write access. Right, so at this point we already see the BI folder created on GitHub, but it's empty. So let's go to Just Retail Studio and create our remote project. We need to use tag uh, credentials here, not GitHub. Because we're pulling the project from Talent Admin Center. Just copy paste the URL over here. And we see our BI project is available. So Let's click finish. Okay, so you can see over here we're working uh, with the remote Git repository already. Now let's try to refresh our BI folder in GitHub. So this is actually a workspace content. Uh, we'll see our jobs listed there. We also get Git history. If you don't see it, go to Windows Show You, type in Git, we under Talent Folder. Mine's showing some history because I've been creating and deleting this project several times, but basically we'll see that the latest commit is on remote repository. Okay, now let's try to import the job into our workspace and we'll see if it's getting populated to the GitHub. So there was a commit done automatically. We should see the job over here. So PG sleep. Okay. So naturally our next step is to have a local version of the repository to work with that, introduce some changes and then test them and then do push. So uh, what you can do is select checkout as local branch. Now you can see we're working in local mode. So let's say, you know, you have a job that's sitting there in GitHub and you want to update it. Um, let's see, change some context variables, for example, click save. So, you know, we can see that we're one commit ahead of our remote repository and if you want to introduce this change and select push so the comments were pushed successfully let's see yeah we can see that those files have been updated 
Now another scenario is where you've been working with the job uh, locally, introduced some changes, saved your job, tried to run it and realized that it's not working fine. So, you know, what you could do here is go to reset your latest commit, for example. Okay, so that's it for the scope of this video. Today we have learned how to set up Git repository on GitHub using JasperSoft ETL Studio and TAC Talent Admin Center. We have also updated the job and pushed our changes to GitHub. Thanks for your time.